let us start recording all the transitions here in this format okay so first of all we need to write opening balance so look at the question here 2021 first february sales leisure control account debit balance okay 12510 dollar okay so it is a debit balance okay opening balance debit balance will be recorded on the debit side okay don't be confused so let us write here the date first 2021 february first okay we will write here balance bd here it is 12510 dollars okay now we have one more balance sales leisure control account credit balance 1245 okay so we have here credit balance also so if you see a uh, credit balance then we need to write on the credit side okay here so let us write 2021 same date february 1st we need to write here balance bd bd stands for brought down okay so it is 1245 okay very good so now what is our next transition on the question 2022 31st january okay wall street in here we have credit sales 134000 dollars okay so credit sales will be recorded where debit side or credit side credit sales will be recorded always on the debit side here okay so let us write the date first 2022 january 31st we will write here credit sales 134 thousand dollars very good so what is our next transition on the question so here we have cash sales 4625 okay cash sales cannot come on this account okay it will be recorded on the cash book okay it will not be recorded on the sales leisure control account now you might be thinking why this uh, transition is given in the question yes just to confuse you okay just to check your understanding you ignore this item or you write this item we often see many students include this item okay cash uh, sales that's sales leisure control account but it is incorrect okay you don't be confused never write cash sales on this account here okay then what we have we have here bank transfers received from credit customers 96250 okay so business received uh, money by bank transfer from the customer okay customer related transaction will be recorded here but never include supplier related transactions okay this will go to the purchase ledger control account okay so i told you here uh, uh, cash and bank so if any any payment is received by by a check or bank transfer we need to record on the credit side if we receive in cash then we need to record on the credit side as cash okay but here we received by bank transfer so we will write bank but on the credit side okay this is a credit item so let us write here the date first 2022 january 31st we will write here bank okay ninety six thousand two hundred fifty dollars okay great our next transition is here cash received from credit customers twelve thousand eight hundred ninety okay so cash received so when you receive by bank we write bank when you received in cash we write cash where on the credit side these are credit items okay so let us write here the same date we will write cash and it is twelve thousand eight hundred ninety dollars okay so finished what is your next transaction returns from credit customers it is four thousand dollars okay return from credit customers it is a sales return okay what is the sales return sales return is here okay it is the, it will be recorded on the credit side it is a credit items okay sales return so don't be confused let us write here sales return amount is four thousand dollars okay finished so what is the next transition we have here 
e recoverable debts written off it is $9,100 okay so what is this this is a bad debt okay so bad debt will be written on the credit side so we see here but provision for doubtful debts this item will never be included okay don't be confused provision for doubtful debts this will not be included okay so let us write here bad debts $9,100 okay great what is our next item so country entries 1677 country entries already I told you country entries will be recorded on the debit side of purchase to the control account and on the credit side of sales to the control account look at here it is a credit items okay country entry here on this question country entries written but sometimes it will be written as set off so whatever you have to, you have to record on the credit side okay so let us write country entry 1677 okay done what is the next item discount allowed 4643 discount allowed will be recorded yeah so here we have discount allowed with the credit item so we'll record on the credit side okay so let us try discount allowed 4643 okay so we record it what is next next item is here discount received 2119 okay discount received okay we see here discount received this item is here no this item will not this item will not be recorded here in this account this will go to the purchase ledger control account so why it is given just to confuse you okay but you never take discount received to this account okay very good so what is our next item interest charge on overdue sales ledger account it is 1104 dollar okay so interest over interest overdue so we have here the interest charge right same item okay it will be Record it on the debit side. It is a debit item interest overdue. So let us write here the interest charge. It is same date on uh, first 31st January 2022. So we will write here interest charge $1,104. So what we have next? We have here sales ledger control account debit balance. It's a question mark. Sales ledger control account. Credit balance nil. What is this? One is a question mark, and the other one is nil. So debit balance. Okay. So when it is a debit balance, we have to write on the credit side. Okay. When it is a credit balance, we have to write on the debit side as balance city. It is also as balance city. So debit balance is here question mark. That means we need to calculate our debit balance and it will be recorded on the credit side okay so let us write here balance cd so here we have a question mark and one more balance we have here which is a credit balance okay credit balance is here nil on the question so now what to do you record it or not if you want you can record okay where you have to record you have to record on the debit side because it is a credit balance okay credit balance comes on the debit side okay if we record it is also okay if you don't record it is also okay it will not affect the trans uh, this account okay because there is no value there is no money okay so let us write we can write here balance cd but there is no value it is nil okay so now we recorded all the transitions we have nothing left so now what to do we need to calculate this question mark okay here we have to put the value so how to calculate this amount we need to balance it okay how to balance it it is quite simple so what you do first of all we need to sum up this column okay so if we sum up what you get 147,614 okay this is the addition of this column of this debit column okay now same amount we will take to the opposite side 
here on that to this side many of you make mistake okay feel confu confusing when you balance it but it is simple okay try to understand so now take this amount take this total amount here to the opposite side on the credit side so 147,614 okay now what to do now we have to subtract this all amounts from this total okay so if we subtract the amount we get it is the balance it is the answer of this question okay so now if we subtract how much we, we get we get here 17,809 dollars okay so this is the answer of the question so here one more balance CD we had but amount is here nil there was no balance okay so this is not over we, we need to bring down the balance okay how to bring down so this is balance CD here on the credit side this will come here on the debit side let us write here balance BD it is 17,809 dollars okay what will be the date for balance BD it will be the first day of next financial year okay so it will be so this is balance PD the closing balance so here we have one more balance CD but there is no amount on the question so if you want to write here balance PD you can write but, but there is no amount okay so as there is no amount better to ignore okay so this is how you have to prepare sales to their control account but main thing is you need to remember this debit and credit items if you can remember whatever question is given you will be able to answer in your exam or test.